You are a blueberry. <laughs> Rude. Do I look like a blueberry? Do I look like a blueberry to you? What's up you guys, my name is Patrick. Thanks for checking back in at my channel. In this vlog, I'm gonna be showing you my culture, guys. I'm gonna be showing you the Lunar New Year Festival, um, the flower market, and then after this, tonight, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be reunited with my college friend, Mackie. He's studying abroad in uh, Paris right now, and so he's coming back to visit, and so we're gonna catch up with him later, and so today is just gonna be packed um, full of things to do, and so let's get started with the flower festival. All right, so we're here at Folk Love Talk, which is the Asian Garden Mall, you guys. And here, every year, they have the Flower Festival for Lunar New Year. Um, a lot of Asian um, cultures celebrate Lunar New Year, but I'm Vietnamese, and this is the Vietnamese flower market. And so, in our culture, we think the flower brings, like, a sense of freshness. And it just brings beauty into your home, you know? And so that's why everyone wants to grab a fresh bouquet of flowers and put it in their home. Right behind me, these ladies are wearing the traditional Ao Yai outfit of the Vietnamese culture. All right, guys, here are more Ao Yais, you guys. Even the little kid is wearing it. Now, I honestly wish I had my own Ao Yai, but I don't. And so I'm wearing the next best thing, which is the color red, because red brings good luck. And so that's why I'm repping my red today. All right, let's go into this market and see what we can see. I want to show you guys my culture. And so, all right, so first thing you guys see is everything in here is red and gold. And so I told you, it brings good luck. And so they want this in their home. They'll, they'll hang these firecrackers. They'll hang these lanterns up. And so it's very decorative this whole entire season. Um, what else? What else? Oh, perfect. These right here are good luck red envelopes. In Vietnamese, it's called Li Si. Say it with me, folks. Li Si. And what you do is you put money in here and um, you either give it to someone that's younger or you give it to someone that um, is uh, wanting for good luck. And so this is how you greet them into their home and stuff. And so it's pretty exciting. Um, when I was younger, I would get tons of these. But now that I'm older, um, it's actually my duty to give it out to the younger kids. And so um, I need to get myself some of those. Look at these plump little pigs, you guys. These are like good luck um, uh, money piggy banks. I love this holiday season, you guys. I love seeing all the traditional ao yais. I love everyone smiling, cheering, saying hi to each other. It's just so great. Right behind me, these are the orchids, you guys. There's so many different colors that I didn't even know existed. There's like purple, yellow, pink, green. There's so many colors. <laughs> Right now we're inside the Asian Garden Mall and we're about to go to the main stage where they're having um, performers, singers, and even a contest. So let's go check that out. Oh, oh, this is really cool. They're having the cooking competition right now. Each of those huts is a team and they're cooking like rice and meat wrapped in this um, banana leaf. It's delicious, you guys. Let me show you guys the competition. <laughs> These are really special, you guys. These are like good luck charms that you put on the flowers. Um, it's kind of like equivalent to putting an ornament on a Christmas tree. And so each of these um, little charms has something different. And so like this one, this one's saying, um, bo nu nu, which means like, we wish you that the money will stream in like water, which is what I need, which is what I need. Um, there's a lot of bunch of other ones, like uh, to good health, to live a long life and so there's a bunch of different charms for a different meaning right behind me these are the traditional hua mai you guys stay with me everyone hua mai and so they're yellow uh flowers next up i'm gonna head home and change and meet with my friend Mackie. All right, you guys, I'm finally reunited with Mackie Del Mundo. It's Mackie Del Mundo. How cool is that? He has two last names. And so you guys, what you guys don't know about Mackie is that he's studying abroad in Paris. And so I used to study abroad in Paris too. And so I don't know, I know how much um, Paris is so amazing. It's so grand and so I miss it. And so I'm so jealous of Mackie right now because he's studying abroad in Paris. Do you want to tell everyone um, what you're doing over there and how long you've been there for? Oh man, okay, so I've been there for 
16 months now. Yeah. 16, I can't believe it. I'm studying my second major Yeah. in uh, international business. Yeah, he, he's hustling, you guys, he's hustling. Right now, we're gonna head over to a dessert place, you guys, and so I want you guys to all come along, all right? All right, you guys, we're trying this new ice cream place. It's right in my city of Fountain Valley. It's called Drilled Ice Cream and Loose Leaf Boba. And so let's go inside and see what it's all about. All right, you guys, we just walked inside of Drilled. Um, they're famous for the ice cream, and so we have to try the ice cream right now. All right, here we go. All right, look at, look at the menu. This is where you build your ice cream right here. All right, you guys, check this out. This is called the Hot As Hell Ice Cream, and you guys, look, there's hot Cheeto dust on this ice cream. What the heck? All right, so me and Mackie, we are waiting for our ice cream. We ordered, what did we order? Fresh avocado. Fresh avocado, you guys, because the reason is, Mackie is from Paris, and what's the main problem with Paris? They don't have good avocado. No good avocados. And so, coming to California, he had to get some avocados. <laughs> All right, so this place is called Drill because what they do is that they drill your topping straight into the ice cream. How cool is that, you guys? It's getting drilled, it's getting drilled in, it's getting drilled in. Oh, that looks delicious. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look how that, you guys, it looks delicious. Woo! That is so good, you guys. You really taste the fresh avocado, which makes it 10 times better. It's not like fake avocado, you know it's real avocado. What makes it extra delicious is that this condensed milk drizzles on top and there's crunch plate and so it makes it extra crunchy. As we just finished having ice cream at Drill, then what do you think of it? It's pretty good, it's pretty solid. I know, pretty good, right? I really like how they drill in the avocado and the fresh toppings into the ice cream. I mean, it's a pretty unique experience and so you guys gotta try it out. You gotta get drilled. <laughs> you gotta get drilled. <laughs> Stop saying that! This is right there. I know, I know. All right, you guys, me and Mackie are now at Huntington Beach. I had to take Mackie to the beach because obviously in Paris, it's landlocked. And so there's no beaches. So and Mackie, how long have you not seen a beach? Ah, uh, man, too long, man. Too long. And so um, we're gonna go to the beach right now. But disclaimer, this is gonna be a little disappointing because it is 10, what time is it? I think it's 10 30. it is 10 30. no 10 22. oh it's 10 22 and um the beach is obviously pitch black and so uh mackie you will see um black water just very dark 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 water <laughs> holy cow this wind Woo! i feel on my nose oh it is cold to the bone Nippy. It's a little nippy. All right, I want to share with you guys a story. Um, it's story time, boys and girls. Story time. Story uh, time. <laughs> right now it is story time. 11 and it is so back in freshman year. Um, Mackie was like my only friend. And so um, we would go to a Krispy Kreme and buy donuts at midnight and literally just sit in the parking lot on the ground having a picnic just eating donuts and just talk about our life. And so those are the little memories that I really remember. And so what we are admiring is this big, huge surfboard. Look at that, boom. The Hunted Beach, if you guys didn't know, is called Surf City. And so that's why there's always like surfboards, skateboarders, tiki stuff flying around. And so I'm here, all here for it. I low key don't know how to surf. And so um, I need to learn how to surf real, real bad. Guys, we had to get into the car because it was getting way too cold. Um, but the next adventure is we're gonna relive Krispy Kreme, but kind of donuts. We're gonna go get donuts. <laughs> we got our donuts, you guys. Um, I got a blueberry donut. What'd you get? What'd you get, Miguel? What'd you get, Miguel? What'd you get, Miguel? We got a crumb raise. A crumb raise? What is raised that? Crumb. What is that? It's a raised donut with cinnamon crumb. Oh, okay. I've never had it before because I always get the blueberry donut because 
here at the No Nuttery, it is super, super uh, berry. Berry. You are a blueberry. <laughs> Rude. I look like a blueberry? Do I look like a blueberry to you? I'm gonna call it a night, you guys. That's the end of my vlog. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me because I come out with videos every single week. My name is Patrick. My name is Miguel. And as always, make sure to go out there and be a winner.